everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Papa Stash Pop. So, I'm a gigantic, ginormous fan of the 80s, so I'm going to start just going for an 80s bonanza, because there's so many good songs, and they do so many cool, creative things, chord progression-wise. So you got some song requests, especially 80s pop, rock, heck, I'll even do some 80s metal, because that's the best music ever. <laughs> But anyways, we'd love to hear what you have to say, so click that link down below and put in your song request. Now, for this song, good stuff. It's kind of a swung reggae feel. Not too bad chord-wise, though, so let's zoom in for a closer look. Check it out. All right, so let's break this one down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play a couple of different options. So I know some of you out there are solo performers, so we'll give you, you know, more of a full-sounding one. And then if you just happen to have a couple guitar players in your band, I'll show you a couple of different ways you can do the guitar parts. So it fills out the sound because back in the 80s, everything's big, huge, just full and awesome. <laughs> okay, now we're going to have kind of a... Kind of a swung reggae feel, so it's just... Okay. Now, if we added the chords to it, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all of the strings on the higher part of the guitar so it really cuts through in reggae and, and music like that. That's really typical, right? When you're doing that kind of. You know, <laughs> I know sometimes there's wah wah in there, but not in this song, right? Okay, so, <laughs> anyways, everything's from the G string, the best of all strings. <laughs> Come on, it's 80s, you gotta say something like that. So, we're gonna play from the G string down. <laughs> it's even better when they come down. Alright, so, woo! Alright, so here we go. We got. I lost my train of thought just because I got all off into that G-string tirade. Okay, so here we go. Back to guitar lesson land. B minor. Then what we're going to do is just, we're just going to bar with our first finger the G-string, B-string, and high E-string. Now, when we go to the next chord, we can keep this one finger, very complex chord shape. <laughs> and bring it up to an A chord, but this time we really want to target the D string to maybe the B string. Now we're going to go back to the G string down, and we're going to do a G major chord, right? We're going to use two fingers, and we're going to be a G string with our second finger, fourth fret, and then we're going to have the B and E string barred, third fret. And then we get to keep that chord shape and just drop it down a half step or one fret to the F sharp major chord. All right, really cool chord progression so far. Now, if we add the, the feel and the mojo from this hand. So I'm gonna hit it once. And that's gonna be kind of my rhythm. And then I would switch down to A. So that would be the intro, but that's also the solo, right? So we get two for one, which is awesome. Now, the verse part kind of takes a left turn at Albuquerque and uh, it goes off into a different kind of chord progression, more complex chord progression, more chords. Now, that doesn't mean that it's, you know, super difficult. So let me just play it for you and then uh, I'll show it to you. Right? 
and then back into the chorus. So the first chord is going to be a D chord, followed by an A chord, and then we're going to do a new chord in the song, and it's going to be a C major chord, and then to a B minor chord. Okay, so let's review that. That's the first half. So we got D, A, C, B minor. Okay, so. Okay, now after that comes the second half where we're gonna go to an E minor chord. And then we're going to go to kind of a diminished chord. All right? Sounds scary, but it's not too bad. If you're doing an A like this, check this out. You can keep your ring finger where it's at, and then you would just scoot your middle finger up one string, and then you would take off your first finger and put it onto the first fret of the A string, and you can keep the G string. There's that string again. <laughs> Open. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, I would prefer it if it was a short, short string. Oh, man. This is going bad. So, no, it's good. Good, bad. I'm just having fun, and it's, it's, it's fun. Guitar is fun. All right, so, again, 80s, man-eater. I mean, come on. It's all applicable. All right, so, here we go. <laughs> and then back to our B minor chord. A. Okay, so if we put it all together, again, this is the verse. Alright, so then we would just go back to, now if you're a solo artist, like a copy shop gig maybe or something like that, um, you can play all bar chords, right? Because you want it to sound a little more full, so that would be you know, the typical B minor chord to an A chord, you could also play A here, go down, play the G like this. That Spanish thing. <laughs> or you could go B minor, A, open G, and then to the. Right? So that interplay between two guitars when one person, guy or gal, right? Whatever your bandmate happens to be, one person plays high, the higher registered uh, chord inversions, and somebody plays low, it makes the band sound huge. Huge. So even if there's two acoustic players in a coffee shop gig or something like that, if one person's holding down the, you know, the other ones, it'll really sound a lot bigger. Now I could show you the other chords. Like so, if you have B minor here, uh, the next chord is going to be an A, G, and then F sharp. You could do that same thing. B here, B minor, I should say. And then an A would be like the D shape of the A, and that's on the ninth fret and the tenth fret, G string down. Then you could go down to a G chord, you just drop it down two frets, and then drop it down one more fret, and you have the higher register chord. So you got. Right, so you can play that, and if you put those two parts together, both low and high, it's going to sound great. It'll sound really full, and it'll sound, you know, a little more exciting because it's not two people doing the exact same thing. So give that a shot. Yes, way to go! Awesome job. Don't forget the song request link down below. That comes to me in a nice little email package, and then I, you know, get to see what everybody wants to learn, especially '80s. Love it. And then there's a uh, Pop Stash 102 over there. That's another channel full of like rock, metal, classic rock, psychedelic, 
lots of guitar lessons, you know, in the studio with different people, session guys and producers and all that kind of stuff. And then there's also papastash.com, so don't forget to check that out. That's where I just, you know, have stuff that you can get that's all how to play guitar. So, you guys are amazing. Thank you so, so much for your continued support. Keep it happy, keep it positive, keep it light, and most of all, keep it fun. All right, catch you next time.